How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you notice on the screen, I am using an emulator. But the cool part about it is that I'm using my phone. I'm using an iPhone. Now, uh, it's pretty hard to get emulators on the phone without a jailbreak. However, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get it without a jailbreak. And uh, there's no tricks. You don't need an account. You don't need uh, Cydia like jailbreak you don't need to download apps to unlock it it's free it's easy to get to it's really simple there's only pretty much two steps on how to get this and I'll show you how to do that right now so first things first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the home button and uh, I'm gonna uh, show you that you're gonna need these two apps right here which is Tweakbox and Happy Chick. Now Happy Chick is not really new at all but if you haven't heard about it you're gonna hear about it here. It has multiple emulators, it has lots of games and it's all working uh, on all iOS devices such as iPhones and iPods and iPads. However I would suggest you do an iPad because my phone is really small and it kinda sucks to play with a screen this small but you're gonna need these two apps and first things first like I do on usually all my videos is I delete mine that way we can do it together so I'm deleting my apps right here and show you that there's no tricks it's not a clickbait uh, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go to Safari and you're gonna to go to this website right here tweakboxapp.com now for this video I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do it that as well tweakboxapp make sure you spell it right not like me tweakboxapp.com should take you to the same website I'm here on my phone same thing uh, on the beginning part of this web page it says tweakbox the jailbreak alternative so somehow it bypasses the I guess security on the iPhone and you're able to download directly like you would be able to do if you have a jailbroken device so first things first we're going to click on install it'll pop up this message and it's gonna ask you if you want to configure a profile go ahead and click allow it's the only way we're able to get this app you can read down here the description says tweakbox lets you install your favorite apps without a jailbreak you don't want to go ahead and go up here and click install if you have a passcode put it in and if you don't it should take you to this page already and go ahead and click on install and then you can click on done uh, after that you click on the home button and your tweakbox should be there already the tweakbox has lots of apps of, of its own uh, oh uh, first things first go ahead and click on accept you can read that I've already have now I was saying like I was saying tweakbox has a whole bunch of apps on its own it has these pretty much three category or four categories I uh, free app store apps that you don't have to pay for tweakbox apps emulators movies and um, tweaked apps like as such as Spotify as it shows there and hack games but I'm gonna use the tweakbox app section to get to where I need to be for my emulators now uh, like I said this has so many apps that you would use that you would need a jailbreak for but you can download directly to your phone it even has a jailbreak already right here for you Electra's, ele Electra's jailbreak but it's only for 11.3 so you if you have updated to 12. Point something that the latest one it has like I have you won't be able to use it but you're more than welcome to try all these apps as you please there are other emulators but we want happy chick because it has all of these already in one so you go ahead and click on it and now we click on install and it's gonna pop up this go ahead and click on install now you can go home and depending on your speeds I'm on Wi-Fi depending on your speeds uh, it'll take longer sometimes it'll be faster if you're on mobile data it uh, everybody's speed is different every time they try this so if it takes longer or if it goes faster then uh, it's no big deal well, waiting for me so we can do it in real time that everything is working as it should but uh, also I think it it matters if you connect how you connect to the server as well that way you can have faster speeds so we're about finished with this install and uh, we'll walk through the app but with this app almost done we are already at a hundred percent complete now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use it 
So it's already finished. It should be accessible already. Go ahead and read the disclaimer if you like. I already have. I'm going to click agree. Now this ad, every time you open this thing, this always shows up. It's a countdown based. You can press skip or you can let it run its course. And it's going to pop up this. I think this is a first time show. Click don't allow. I, I don't want to allow my location services. Now it, it just needs to load up the home screen. And there we go. Uh, this app does have ads. I don't like it, but it's as good as it gets. However, they're only about five seconds long, so it's not that much time consuming for what we want to do. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll see the weekly hot tab already has games that you can do already. Super Mario World. Uh, there's different emulators here uh, you can click on the more section if you like to see more of this you can also scroll all the way down and look for things that you want look so there's turtles in time already right here it's one of my favorite ones however I like main games so if you want to go down here if you scroll up a little bit up if you scroll down it disappears but if you scroll back up it'll show this this area and here you can click on category and this will take you to the emulators uh, selection and you can click on the emulator you want and it will take you to the games that you're looking for or you can go to search and look for games if they have it uh, but I like main games the reason why I like main games is because it's arcade games that are the old school ones that you have in arcade I'm a little bit older but when I was in, uh, younger at Peter Piper's I would play X-Men and uh, Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time However, if you remember the good old, those those days, um, they're coin eaters. They eat all your they eat all your credits, and I think they're made to do that. And you don't beat the game. However, uh, the reason why I like main is that you can use as many credits as you want. So if you never beat the game before, you're gonna beat it today and uh, um, so you scroll through here so you have turtles in time sometimes it don't work sometimes uh, it looks for a ROM and it doesn't find it so you're gonna have to look for another one um, Mortal Kombat the Simpsons is here uh, you can scroll down and it says loading more and it'll load more sometimes it'll say error and it won't so all you have to do is click on the back button and reload the emulator and then try and do the load more and it should work for you so we're here look there's X-Men uh, there's Teenage Mutant Turtles that's what I'm gonna show right now for today so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click on get and then it's gonna pop up this click on skip and it's, uh, this is where it's looking for the ROM uh, go ahead and click on download the only problem with this is if you pick a game that if you remember the Ninja Turtles game, go ahead. Once it's done, go ahead and click on play. An ad will pop up here. It always does. However, it's always like five seconds. You can't see it because my big head is in the way. But right here, it's five seconds. And it'll show you the little X. However, the X is really small. It looks a little bit bigger on the screen. But the X is really small. So be careful how you poke it because it has. I have been a victim of poking the dumb ad so many times. Once you get rid of the ad, you can click on single and it should start up your game. Like I was saying that uh, if you remember this old game, you would put the quarter on the character you want. However, this setup only lets you put the credit only on Leonardo. However, it is mapped to your liking. If you look on the screen, you have the joystick function, you have buttons, configuration, you have start and select on the top um, on the bottom right here in the middle is a menu screen that will pop up right here and each emulator has different things so like this one has these buttons it has it'll have the same button but some emulators will have a little bit more options so here what I like is that you can do the key adjustment and you can uh, move your joystick around you can move your buttons around you can also do the size so you can bring your your joystick pad to as small as you need it 
like for myself I'm using an iPhone SE so the screen is pretty small and uh, having a smaller joystick look would be better so I push complete sometimes so yeah, I didn't I left my joystick a little bit down but that's okay sometimes you'll have your start and select the start will be points stuck all the way to the top now if that happens to you you would go back to this little menu screen click on key adjustment and then scroll to this recovery it even has a transparency so you can make them a little bit more uh, transparent so if you click on recovery it'll bring up this you can click on confirm or cancel and it'll bring back everything back to default so that uh, in size wise and placement after that you can go ahead and click on complete and there you go um, click on the select you can't really see the select button now you can if you push select uh, like I said it has just Leonardo but if you keep pushing select you have as much credits as you want so now I have 14 I can click on the start and we can start this game however sometimes the start function is a uh, not, uh, sometimes it doesn't work so you have to kind of spam it also you can push one of the buttons it might start the game for you so there we go my game is about to start you should have function of it all so I can go up and down I have my jump I have my hit it's not turtles in time but it's the older one which I think is pretty cool I looks like you only have two buttons so uh, another word of advice I would pick games that are two button related because it's a lot easier however you can pick the game that you want that you see and try and figure out if you can do the button layout or handle the button layout for yourself so let's try that that one worked let's try another game uh, if you find other games that you had to put the quarter on and the individual character you're gonna have the same effect so let's say uh, Simpsons you had to put a quarter on Bart or whatever here I think it's just Marge uh, is the first character that you can pick unfortunately that's just the way it is however if you've never beaten the game that is still pretty cool that you can go and get it done like that uh, X-Men will be th X-Men shouldn't be the same way I think you can actually pick your character on X-Men but let's go Oh, Altered Beast is one of my all-time favorites I'm gonna go ahead and click on it if you do if you actually pick on the name it'll take you here and you can read a description but you push on this blue part and it'll pop up that same box and add might pop up here it might not but you get the same effects go ahead and click skip it'll take you to here hopefully we get a good ROM if not then we'd have to uh, I suggest you would delete the game delete the app and we get back into it which is not a big deal because uh, the tweakbox app hasn't failed you can just go right back into it and get it immediately again so once it's done you can go ahead and click on play and this ad pops up again this time I actually had an X automatically so sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't you go ahead and click on the X and then click on single I haven't poked on archive but you can mess with it as much as you want so same thing here you have the coins I had this on the SNES I could not beat it it's such a hard game but if you push select the same way you have as much credits as you want and there you go rise from your grave well, I love this game and if you never beat it before you're gonna beat it today so there you go I think they're supposed to explode into pieces but it's not however the game looks like it's running just fine so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try a game from another platform uh, just so we can get this video wrapped up uh, MAME is my favorite uh, let's go to SNES that's usually a go-to emulator for people um, you have Super Mario World you have Donkey Kong though I have I am gonna do the Turtles in Time here just so we can see uh, if you don't like the that you can't pick the turtle that you want in the meme you can go here and still play the same game here so go ahead and click on download and wait for that to go 
um, there is a way this app does support Bluetooth controllers I don't know if it's already set up for the phone or if you're gonna need another hack uh, or not a hack but another app to get you to go I don't think you're gonna need it because you can also put this app in the fire stick and just use a Bluetooth doggo uh, Bluetooth controller and it should pick it up the uh, this app should pick it up so I finished the turtles in time for the SNES same thing an ad popped up and uh, it had the X this time go ahead and click on single and it should start my game so if you notice that the button layout is now for SNES it has the same buttons it has that same menu option so you can pick uh, you can change the button layout for yourself as well okay so we want to go ahead and click start there you go and here we can actually pick the turtle we want this time so downtown low is the best prove me wrong and there you go so the game is working just fine it looks like it's chopped like the aspect ratio is cut off but that's for some reason my phone did that and I can't change that for the sake of this video however on my phone screen it's not like that um, it's a full screen and everything is showing just fine but other than that uh, guys that's uh, the happy chick app and it's on my phone everything's working I haven't messed with all the apps but uh, okay hold on April okay fine there you go okay so you can kick all the ninja food you want and uh, that's how it is guys uh, on the menu you can do restart you can do other functions but let me get out and uh, there you go if you have any problems if anything happened I'm active on my comments you can let me know and I'll respond to you as best I can I haven't had any much issues but if you do reloading the app seems to work re-downloading the app seems to work unfortunately as that's the case then that'll be have to be done um, if you like this video a thumbs up would be appreciated if you like the content I have other videos on what on things that I do um, as far as games and um, apps like for movies and stuff you can scroll through my channel and look for that as well a subscribe would be appreciated as well if you like this content and as always uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one